Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to be here for my first NixCon. Um, I'm a software engineer. Uh, I'm working on a project at Twig, which is called Nickel, and uh, I will talk about it in this talk. So I just recently dove into the Nix world, and uh, it's quite an amazing piece of software. And it, in particular, I was uh, struck by the, the power of Nix expression, right? Nix expression, first, it's a proper programming language, which is not always the case if you have had to deal with horrendous YAML templating language. You know what, what I'm talking about. And it's also a simple language. It basically JSON plus functions. And yet, it is a powerful one. Because JSON plus functions allow you to encode quite a lot of patterns and uh, idioms in it. And I've heard some Nixers tell me that they wish they could use this for something else to generate not only packages, but other configurations or even small per project script. But as Elko pointed out uh, in his first talk, there are some shortcomings in the Nix expressions. First one is a discoverability and extensibility problem. By extensibility, I mean overrides, overlays, all this kind of stuff is really complicated for newcomers. The lack of types that already had been discussed quite extensively. And these two points are more or less addressed by the Nix OS module system, but it's not a language feature, it's something external, which has some drawbacks. And finally, it's not really a flow in itself, but if you want to use Nix on something else than Nix, uh, you have to be able to evaluate Nix expressions outside of the Nix world. And it turned out that in practice, this is not something trivial um, to use in the Nix expression for something really unre unrelated to Nix. And so from there, uh, this project started, uh, which is Nickel, uh, configuration language. And we have somehow two main reasons for doing that. Uh, the first one is is to detach, detach Nix to make a spin-off of the Nix expressions language, but which is not uh, dependent uh, of, uh, of Nix. And the second uh, direction is to be able to explore and experiment with what could we add to this language, so to this language for it to be able to do more stuff than Nix or to um, overcome some of the shortcomings uh, I, I talked about earlier. So this nickel language, it has a Nix-like core, I would say. So same thing, lazy JSON functions. I try to re retain the simplicity and the beauty of the Nix expressions language. And then also we add uh, some typing. So static typing is a bit uh, of a heavy things for a configuration language, right? You, some, you don't want to write and to statically type all part of your configurations and um, so gradual typing allows both uh, static typing and untyped code to coexist. But even if you don't want static typing, you may want uh, dynamic runtime checks, which is what is done, for example, in the type shaking of the NixOS module. And contracts allow you to do that, so to verify things at runtime in a principled approach. And it also has um, a merge system, uh, a merge operation, which allows you to combine uh, records or attribute sets in Nix. And the idea is to be able, more or less, to um, fulfill the same purpose than the Nix OS module system, but with a curated set uh, of native features of the language, rather than the external uh, library. Right, so there is more, but it's a lightning talk, so. I can go on and on. I have to warn you that uh, the project is still experimental, so it lacks a good syntax, it lacks a JSON backend, so it did not yet generate configuration. But most of the thing I'll talk about and the design and the core language is actually uh, implemented. It just lacks the last um, layer of paint to be able to actually use it. But if you're interested, to check out, check out the repo, uh, re see the readme, or just watch from distance um, what will happen in the, um, I don't know, next month, maybe. And that's all. Thanks. <laughs>